Hey folks, Surat here, one more time with another little let show off. And strangely enough, this one is also a music game. Although it does not play like Beat Hazard, it's not overlay flash of, you know, super happy seizure time. As one person commented in the last video, it was brought up on a, uh, on a, um, on another website review. And this game has its own music, and it kind of has to work that way for what it is. It's not a Tetris clone, but you are filling up areas. You'll see what I mean shortly, but you're doing kind of what this is right here in the middle. You're stacking, uh, you're placing blocks, you flip them, rotate, or you rotate them and you place them. I've just started playing this game. We're going to play a six minute game. What's Moby? Ooh, yeah. I just started playing. I think that one's uh, still alive. Yeah. Lemon Jelly. But you get some interesting songs. And I actually do like this uh, Play for Silence here. We'll play Orbital. And basically, you're just trying to cover areas. I'm just going to show this off real quick. This probably won't be a full-blown Let's Play or anything like that, unless you guys are just really interested to see it. But you can see you're trying to make... Um, you're trying to make rectangles. At least I think so. I do not claim to be good at this game. And you can go back, once it's cleared an area like that, you can go back and, uh... Let's cover myself up there. Oh, darn it. And part of the goal is to cover as much of the field as possible. And listen to the music as you play. I am by no means good at it, I just got this game today. Part of me doing this is because it is available on Steam for today only for about a buck twenty-five. So yeah, it's a really cheap game right now. And from and I'll be honest, I saw this game mentioned by uh, Paw Paw Dugan, uh, that guy with the glasses, and he talked about it. And I thought this was a really interesting concept. It takes the game music and it enhances it, kind of. I'm not going to get a very high score, am I? No. I suck at this game. But it's got this really nice, relaxing music, and you play it. Quite a bit different from Beat Hazard, where you picked your own music and then made this, and then had to play through this really, really, you know, insane field. But as you can see, My eyes are watering. As you can tell, my voice isn't the best right now, or I'd be recording my next Let's Play. I need to anyway, but... Oh, darn it, can't do that. I want to do that, but I can't. Yeah, I'm failing horribly at talking while I do this. I can't concentrate very well if I keep explaining everything. That was a problem with Beat Hazard too, wasn't it? Yay, more points. Points are good. Points are always good. That is the goal of the game, just to score a whole bunch of points. And frankly, I think we need a lot more games like that. We don't have nearly enough games where the object is just to score. And I'm not talking Leisure Suit Larry scoring you perverts. But you notice, if you manage to form these rectangles over the lighter blue, the blank slate areas, I call them, because I don't know what the official game name is for. And yeah, you can make them go up, you can get them covered. And that is, in essence, a large part of the goal of the game, just to cover all these... No, oh, darn it. I don't know, maybe, that's, maybe that ends up being a good thing. I did cover myself and said I suck at this game. Oh, 
I'll just play this one for the few minutes I have left. I would also like to note that as I record this, I do believe I just got up to 97 subscribers today. So yeah, if you see this video in the future, it will be a little dated. And you'll be able to tell about roughly when it was made. The same day as I posted it, actually. As soon as I finish this video, I'm posting it, so hopefully people will be able to take advantage of the sale and get a little hint of this one. The flashing ones are the ones that are about to die. If you haven't noticed that, the game explains it so much better than I can, for obvious reasons. Oh goody, poor dead. Ah, darn it. You let too many of those die, and you lose your multiplier, and lose your score enhancer, and all that. Well, multiplier is score enhancer, duh. That was an idiotic statement on me, wasn't it? <laughs> you guys should be used to that by now, right? Those idiotic statements. And now I'm just kind of... What am I messing up horribly here? Less talky, more placey. I would say it would be nice if the game came with its own, or the game came with the ability to uh, put your music into it, but I can see completely why it doesn't do that. I mean, like I said, be nice, but hardly necessary to enjoy the game. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do something with this area down here in that area eventually. Part of this game is just thinking on your feet, maybe finding spots that haven't been completely, you know. I should just shut up and let you listen to the music. Music is pretty loud, I'll admit that. But then again, that's most of the point of this game. I'm doing a horrible job of explaining it. As you place pieces, that little line that goes across there forms new music, actually. And if you're really interested in hearing a better explanation on this, go look up uh, Pog Podugan. As I mentioned before, the guy from that guy with the glasses had a much better description of this game than I am right now. I am just failing to say decent words. Words should be coming out of my mouth that make sense, not this thing. Yeah, my sinuses are killing me. That does not help me to think clearly and play this game. Yay. I'm, just, yeah, I'm about to lose it all, too. Yeah, I 
just had to make this really quick video. I have a feeling I will lose subscribers over this video just because I suck at talking. Oh well, can't win them all. Can't win all. I really want to show off the game. That's what I'm doing, so. So it thinks it's impressive. I don't think I did that well. Yeah, I did much better earlier. Sorry. Tissue bumping the microphone as I wipe the watery from my eyes there. Okay. Well, anyway. That has been Chime. It's a fun little game. You kind of make music as you play it. Jeez. So, yeah. Um, if you if this looks somewhat interesting to you, if you think the music's good or what have you, uh, go check it out. It's like I said, it's right now it's only a buck twenty-five on Steam, and even then I think it's only five dollars regularly. Dang it! I keep touching the microphone inappropriately. Bad touch. So yeah, this has been Surat showing off Chime. Um, since I don't have much else to say, take care, everybody. See you next time.